In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do exponential regression on your calculator using the 7-2 practice, number 13. A cake is 190 degrees when you remove it from the oven. You must let it cool to 75 degrees before you can frost the cake. The table at the right shows the temperature readings for the cake. Given that a room temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, what exponential model, which just means an equation, for the, what is the exponential model for this data set? So what we need to do first is we need to get your calculator and we need to put it into the list feature. In order to do that, you hit stat and you select number one. If you have any values in here, go up to the list, hit clear and down. Do that for each list so you have nothing showing. The next thing we do is we determine your x's and your y's. The x's in this problem are the time and the y's are the temperatures. We'll plug your x's in. Move over to L2 to plug in the corresponding y values. Now if we were to plot these, these particular items would not be approaching the x-axis because your room temperature is, as this problem says, 68 degrees. So what we need to do is we need to change our y's in L3 to approach 0 since on this paper they're approaching 68. So we're going to go up to L3, make sure L3 is highlighted, and we need to take 68 degrees away from L2 so that your calculator can appropriately get the A and the B values. So we hit second, 2, and L2 shows up, and minus the room temperature of 68. When you hit enter, you will notice L3 is simply the values of L2 minus 68. Now you can do that by hand, but if you get that concept of just doing L2 minus 68, it makes it much easier. Now that we have our data in, we actually have a new X and Y. Our X's are still in L1, but our new Y's are in L3. We're going to ignore L2 for a minute. So we're going to get our regression fit now. Hit Stat. Go over to Calc. Because we want an exponential regression, we go all the way down to zero. When you find exponential regression, hit enter. In your calculator, if you have this kind of a list, you want to make sure that you tell your calculator your x list should be L1. That should be automatic. Now some of you may have L2 here. If that's the case, we need to change your y list to L3 by hitting second and three. You will now notice that your Y list is at L3. Now if your calculator is a little different, you might have to hit L1 comma L3. Once you have L1 and L3, go down to calculate and hit enter. You will get the A, the B, and hopefully the R squared and the R value. If you don't have R squared and R, that just means your diagnostics are not on, which we can fix later on. So part A, we are ready for our equation. Y equals, you know the general equation that Y equals A, B to the X. So we're just filling it in. So Y equals A, 122 approximately, times B, which is 0.922, we're using three significant digits, to the X power. Now because on our calculator we had to take 68 degrees away, in our equation we have to put a plus 68 in the back so that when we plug temperatures back in, or excuse me, plug time back in, our temperatures will be according to our plus 68 here, which was the room temperature. So that is the model for the temperature of the cake based on the time. Now part B says how long should you let it cool before you frost it? That means we're going to go to your table function in your calculator. In order to do that, we need to type it in the y equals, so go to y equals. Type your equation that you just wrote down, type that equation in. 122 times 0.922 to the x, and then hit the right button so you get out of the exponent, plus 68. 
Now that you have your equation and your y equals, you hit second graph, which actually takes you to the table function. As long as your calculator is set up for the independent to be, at, like you can ask an independent, we just take a guess. Now we re remember, we need it to be 75 degrees. So I'll take a guess. What does it look like after 20 minutes? So I just type in 20, hit enter. After 20 minutes, your cake is still 92 degrees. Let's take another guess. Obviously it hasn't cooled down enough, so let's do 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, your cake is at 84 degrees. Continue this process. 30 minutes. At 30 minutes, we're getting a lot closer at approximately 79 degrees. Let's try 32 since we're getting so close. At 32 degrees, we reach 77 degrees. Or at 32 minutes, we reach 77 degrees. So we're getting closer. Let's try 34. At 34, we're almost there. Your cake is at 75.7 .7 degrees. Let's try 35. At 35, we get 75.1 degrees. Let's try 36. At 36, the cake has passed the point that we need to, so we're able to answer our question, how long should the cake sit out? Approximately 35 minutes. And then the cake will be ready to frost. And that's how you use your calculator to use guess and check when it comes to solving for exponents.